Hi there everybody, uh, Mark Ashford here, episode 5 of uh, my YouTube channel. This time is going to be maybe a little bit shorter, but uh, we're going to be out and about with close-up lenses and a macro lens and see what we can find. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in the, uh, the camera bag. First of all, we have a Canon 5D Mark III with Badu grip and also a Manfrotto G2L um, L bracket. And this is the 100mm f2.8 uh, Canon macro lens that uh, I was uh, showing in the first video. So let's just assemble this. Okay, that's done. I did bring the 24105 with me. Um, maybe we'll get a few shots with that and see uh, what the difference is when you're just shooting with that. And here are the two macro lenses. Now the way I usually um, operate is I carry these in pockets in my cargo pants or my cargo shorts. So my wallet, my cell phone, everything has been taken out and put in another pocket of the camera bag so that I can keep those two lenses freely available whenever I need to. So let's get on and find something to shoot and have some fun. Okay, so here we have a, uh, a thistle head uh, with some nice purple flowers on it and as you can see obviously I'm out shooting completely in nature so when we take pictures big danger of uh, wind and other there's another little uh, thistle head down there but let's concentrate on this one up here because this is going to be the easiest for us to uh, do these example uh, pictures with Okay, so let's start off with the macro lens. Shooting at four, ASA 400, 7.1 aperture, and we're probably getting around about 60th of a second on on here um, today. It's a little bit overcast. Very nice flowers. Had a lot of rain. A uh, big storm came through yesterday, so. Nice that these uh, flowers are out and about. I did actually get uh, pictures of a nice uh, red admiral butterfly, uh, but I didn't have all the video set up, so I have to take my word for it when I uh, add the uh, images to the video. Okay, so now I'm just going to put on the 500D, the Canon 500D. And we get a lot closer. Widen the stance a little bit to make it a little bit stronger. I do actually use uh, back button focusing on uh, the Canon 5D Mark III. Um, I find it helps a lot when it comes to focusing and then shooting separately rather than half depressing and then releasing the, the shutter when you press all the way down. So um, with a battery grip I have the back button focus activated so I can get in and the other thing uh, you want to do is move, change your position, change your shooting angle. Got a nice little insect. It's uh, actually an ant on the bottom leaf there. There 
it is. The other thing I have is I have it set onto uh, AI server silent shooting. That way I can uh, take uh, multiple shots. So now just changing the close-up lens to the 250D. And in we go. Some beautiful little shots here. So if we can So I'm just grabbing some more pictures. Okay, so what we have now is the 24 to 105. Um, there's obviously no uh, close-up lens on this because, you know, the, the front lens element is way too big and it would be too costly for me to get a close-up lens that big. Plus, I'd rather shoot with the macro lens than this lens. This lens by default in the macro range at uh, 105 millimeters gives you use images like these which I'm going to add obviously to the uh, the video um, but it's not it's nothing like the magnification you get with the uh, Let's see if we can change the on the upper, the maximum aperture uh, f4. It's not going to blur the background as much as the f2.8. So we just got a a few shots there just for comparison. 